But at the end of the day, it's like, I cannot spend my week going to like six different stores because the sales turn over at a different day. And it's just too much because my time is valuable. Time is money for me. You have to weigh it out. Hey y'all, so I'm at Kroger because I've been trying to sell the sales. So this morning after I got up and said my prayers, I was on the Flip app looking to see what was on sale and what's not <laughs> because girl, these grocery prices are crazy. And I know they had some chuck roast on sale here at Kroger until tomorrow. So preferably they have some that I'm going to get and some vegetables and fruit for the week. And then it's gonna be a long day, girl. We have a lot to do. I see these plants and I just can't get enough. I just, I just cannot get enough. Look at these hibiscus trees. I bought a braided one from Sam's that I absolutely love. These are so pretty, $22.99, not bad price. $14.99 for a 10 inch hanging pot. I bought a little bit larger one from Home Depot for $16.99. It was like multicolored like this. I wanna say it's like a 12 inch, maybe. Oh, this one's pretty, it's really pretty. These, patio mix. Okay, let me go ahead and get my tropical oasis set up in my backyard. Oh, a strawberry basket. You don't need a Gia. I don't need a strawberry basket. I know I don't, but I, I want one. Hmm. Oh, these are beautiful, you guys. I love the pink and green. Reminds me of the AKAs, Palladium pink. Very pretty. You know what, I'm just gonna go inside because at this point, I feel like I might buy up everything, everything I see. What is this? Begonia? Oh, and then what is this? All right, let me go in. I came here for food. This is what I came to get. This is a great sale. It's usually $7.99 a pound. So I'm gonna get two of these to put one in my freezer to have, and then I'm gonna cook one tonight for dinner. Snyder's pretzels have just skyrocketed. <laughs> They used to be $3.29 normally, but now they're $4.29, so I try to just buy them on the sale. If not, then I just get them from Aldi, but since I'm not going to Aldi this week. Get bag here. Gosh, why is the beef stock so expensive? For the Kroger brand, $2? The beef broth is $1.49, but $2 for the beef stock? That is, I'm not even gonna look at the Swanson, girl. That's $3.29. That's crazy. Let's see, the can is cheaper. No, that's beef flavored broth. That's different. All right, I'm gonna have to get one because I'm gonna cook one tonight, but once next time these go on sale, I'm definitely gonna get stock up on them. I don't cook with beef broth or beef stock as much as chicken stock. I buy the Swanson brand chicken stock from Costco because it's a lot cheaper. You get six for like $12. Dang, I wanted to get the Tillamook cheese for buy one, get one, but I'm too late because the sale ends tomorrow. Next week, I'll be on it. I'm actually gonna check the flyer tomorrow to see what's on sale so I can get over here and uh, get what I need. Just kidding, I found it. I've never tried the shredded cheese. It's such a small bag, but it's still, buy one, get one, so it's $2.40. But the Kraft used to be, no, the Kroger brand used to be $2.29. Now it's $2.49, so I don't know. I'm gonna try it, because I know Tillamook cheese is, is really good. Happy eggs are on sale. These are the only eggs I buy to eat. And I don't cook with them because they're so expensive, but they, they, they taste so much better than your, you know, Eglin's Best or anything like that. So, let me get a pack of these. The price of coffee is crazy. So I always stock up on the sales. Actually, this $11.99 used to be the price just maybe two or three years ago. Then it creeped up to 13 something. Now it's up to 15.49. I'm definitely gonna buy a bag now that it is on sale. Eight o'clock is on sale for 4.67. That's a great deal. Starbucks is on sale. Bag of this. All right, I'm back home. Let me show you what I got. I ended up getting two of these chuck roasts. I'm gonna cook one today and put one in the freezer. I think that's a really good deal. 
I'm trying to stock up on meat when I can. Three bags of coffee, that's something else I'm stocking up on because coffee is incredibly expensive now. I showed you in the store, I got the eight o'clock, which was $4.67. The Starbucks was $6.99 and this was on sale for $11.99. And the last thing I got on sale was the cheese. Buy one, get one. The beef stock was not on sale, it was $1.99. The cabbage was 69 cents a pound. The pretzels were, I think a dollar off and so were the chips. I mean, they're still incredibly expensive. Typically, I'd like to get this kind of stuff at Walmart because it seems to be a little bit cheaper, but sometimes I just don't have time to go to like four or five different stores. Pretzels is cheaper to go to Aldi. Um, sometimes the fruit is cheaper to go to Aldi and then overall like chips and stuff like that especially like name brand chips it's cheaper to go to walmart but you know you have to like i don't know i have to allocate my time because my time is worth money too and sometimes it's just not worth going to like four or five different stores these are my husbands <laughs> and then that's it yeah that's it that's everything i got i take that back i got these 18 eggs that's the last thing I got because these were $6.99. So that was a dollar off because they're normally $7.99. Altogether, I spent a total of $102. And I'm looking at this like, what? Obviously the meat was expensive. That was like close to $30 there. But then $70 for the rest of this stuff. I'm just thinking, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. There's some other things that I got and I have to show you. I forgot because they were on the floor. They had some like camping things that were on sale and that I needed to replace from the last time we went camping. We kind of ruined some of these steaks. So I got two of these. These were $2.99 each. And then I got this for myself, random. It was $8.99 on sales, normally $9.99. It's a neck band. And then this really heavy duty thick tablecloth was on sale, I think for $3.29 or something like that. It's super thick stitched edges and you can like wipe it off clean so that is why it's two dollars oh and then this mallet because we ruined the mallet that we had like the rubber mallet that we had we ruined it when we were putting the steaks down when we went camping so i got this plastic ma um mallet heavy duty mallet <sighs> girl yeah it's always something if you didn't know we are going back camping again if you didn't see the original camping trip the first time we went camping as a family tap this eye right here girl because it is a whole trip okay it's a whole mood to be honest all right so now i'm going to put everything away and then i'm going to get started on my pot roast Thank you so much to Meeson for sponsoring today's video. You know, with the cost of groceries and food just rising and rising, I know many of us, including myself, are cooking more and more at home. And to be honest, you know, when you have a nice cookware piece, it inspires you to cook more meals or try different recipes or just think outside of the box. It, it like gets you excited to cook, especially when you're stuck in a rut cooking the same things over and over again. So when they sent me this piece, I was super excited because this Dutch oven is like a dual purpose Dutch oven. It comes with two different lids that's available with it where you can use it as a grill pan, the, the lid, the first lid as a grill pan, and then also comes with the silicone lid that you can put on top if you're using the grill pan at the same time. And so any kind of cookware piece that saves on space, that is versatile, where you can use it for many different things, I'm so excited for. I loved cooking with this. I cooked evenly. I've made a beautiful pot roast for my family, but there are so many different things that you can use this Dutch oven for. I feel like having a Dutch oven is like a staple in every kitchen because you could use it for so many, many different things. You can roast a whole chicken in there. You can make chili, you can, do a pot roast like I did. You could roast your vegetables. You can make soup. So many different things, especially if you're trying to stockpile your food or cook a lot of freezer meals. Having a really big pot like this can help you do that a lot faster. So I love that you could do multiple tasks with this one Dutch oven. It's a four and a half millimeter cast iron core. So you are, it, it's cooking evenly in that um, Dutch oven and plus it has a four layer premium enamel coating so it was super easy to clean it took no and as a matter of fact I, I cleaned it the next day and it was super easy for me to clean the pot some Dutch ovens are really really expensive but this one is almost half the price as as the expensive ones so it's definitely a great deal if you're interested you can go to the link in the in my description and use the promo code GIA for 20% off of your first order. Again, go to the link in the description and use the code GIA for 20% off of your first yes. order.
So, dinner is in the oven. I had a little bit of work to do on the computer. I spent about an hour and a half on the computer. And now I've got to run to Costco and exchange these pants. I pray that they still have them. They were such a good deal, $9.99 for these. I'm going to get a different size. But listen, y'all, we got things to do today. We don't have time to be spending two or three hours in Costco today. So we're going to exchange these pants. Then we are also going to pick up some heavy cream, some strawberries, and some CeraVe cream that's on sale, okay? Cause listen, we're shopping the sales, girl. That's what we have to do. Shop this, hashtag shop the sales. Okay, if you feel me, put it in the comments. Shop the sales, okay? All right, let's go. Cause we only have an hour before it's time for me to pick up the girls. Ugh, look at this line. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this sale. $15 off, $54.99 for the Kirkland brand sheets. This is a steal. If you need sheets, these are the only sheets I buy from my king size bed. They look like they only have the queen. Oh, they do have a few kings. I don't know, I guess it's $15 off the king too, but I'm telling you y'all, you will not be disappointed. These sheets are the best. They, they don't bead. I've had them for years. They're super soft. I mean, excellent. And they're Pima cotton. Listen girl, we don't have time. And I feel myself like getting a little bit crazy because I see people with like flowers and stuff. So ugh, I have 30 minutes, I gotta hurry up. Hike place, K-Cups, wow that hike, $40 now for this. These used to regularly be $32. Now they're $40 and they're $7 off back down to $32. Like that's just crazy to me. Oh my gosh y'all, it's on clearance. $2.99.97, it was $3.99 I think. Now it's $2.99.97. We have four left. I'm gonna have to tell Charles, girl, this is it. I'm trying to get myself this. You know how many months I've been looking at this fire pick? You guys know if you've been following me, keeping up with all of our garden projects and everything. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. They still have them and they have a lot. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna get these and I might even look to see. Uh, oh, I see something on clearance. Hold on. All the pajama sets. Youth active tea. Tea pack tea. Oh, okay. That's this. Adidas for $15.99 and then the pajama sets for $8.99. Okay. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I like them. Adorable. I'm always looking for pajamas for my girls. Look at these little dresses. How cute are these for the summer? These are really nice quality too. They're not like thin, kind of. It's like heavier, if you know what I mean. Like it could hold in the wash. These are so cute. Let me see what size they have. I get one for my girls and then they can share it. Let's see. This is cute. All the other colors, okay. All right, let me decide. Remember I got to wet it and forget it. Fogger, I have to look to see if it was two weeks ago, because if it was, I'm, I'm gonna get my rain check because now it's $5 off for $24.99 and I'll check in the front. Ness. Oh, they look fake. They're so beautiful. Y'all, it's taking everything in me. I might have to get one. They're too beautiful to pass up. Y'all, these are just too beautiful. They have the full pink and cream and then they have like this like cream and lavender and pink color. Oh man, they're just too pretty, too beautiful. I got my planters. You guys remember the video that I did where I was, actually, I don't even know if that video will be up yet. If it is, I made my own hanging planters, even though they're not hanging, but they're just like round. Oh, beautiful. And I bought two for the front as well. These are pretty. We still have these from a couple weeks ago. They look a little dingy now. And I made the bowls or the round um, planters with the annuals that I bought here. The eight for $22.99. Oh man, look at these knockout roses. Wow, beautiful, $15.99. I could plant these in the front. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is too hard. These I'm definitely gonna do to keep for my back deck because I don't know if the hydrangeas can get that much sun. Oh my gosh. If it was up to me, girl, I would buy every single plant I see. These are nice. I, I, I almost bought these last time, but I didn't. Now I'm feeling like maybe I should've. $19.99 for three. I'm gonna hold off because I may make another planter if I go back to my local nursery and get some more. I'm telling you, girl, I'm making my own tropical oasis in, on my porch. And nobody's stopping me because, listen, this is what I need to do. I just love it so much. They still have the lavender, two rows. Like, they're looking a little a little dry now. These were here last week. Oh, y'all, it's hot. Sorry, my air is blasting. 
it's 81 degrees here i am rushing because <laughs> i like tested it to the minute but i really do have to get gas i only get gas at costco i try to make it last until i come back and i'm below a quarter of a tank so i have to sit here and wait it is always crowded for gas i mean always it doesn't matter what time you come really costco is always crowded anyway so i'm gonna hurry up get gas praise god dinner's already done for today amen praise the lord we don't have to think about it but i do have to make some veggies like i said pick up the kids do school homework all that kind of stuff all right the only food i got from costco was heavy whipping cream butter because it's still on sale and some strawberries um and so let me show you everything else i got all right let me show you the clothes i ended up getting the girls this four piece sleep set it comes with one pair of joggers a pair of shorts and then two short sleeve shirts because they always need pajamas especially since they're growing so much then i got the shorts that i needed to take back in exchange they, they had more of them i was so happy so i got those and then i got myself a little tennis skirt we'll see how it fits i'm excited to wear that to tennis this week we all take tennis lessons as a family together and then here are the dresses i got the girls all right so i got this one these were $19.99 each and again these dresses are really nice quality these dresses would at least be $20 each at like old navy or at least $12 to $16 at like Ross or uh, Marshall's so I really think it was worth it I got this one blue and pink and then I got this one I'm gonna let them choose which ones they like and then you know we'll go from there this is the other thing I got from Costco how stunning are these seriously I didn't even take it all the way out of the plastic and look at the beautiful planter it came with hold on let me put it up on the table look at it is it not beautiful look at this beautiful planter it came with i love the colors it's just it's so pretty it reminds me of my wedding i had hydrangeas in my wedding and i just love 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 them just think this is stunning so i don't know where i'm gonna put this at so it, it's beautiful right so i think aldi has a planter stand going on sale this week an outdoor one like a metal one i think i'm gonna put because i'd love to put it like right here in between i'm gonna make my own tropical oasis out here girl i'm telling you i am but imagine this on a planter stand i just think it's going to be so so beautiful so this was $23.99 and I think it was totally worth it. Altogether, I spent a grand total of $102 from Costco. That mostly was the clothes that I got that comes out of a different budget for us and not like a grocery budget, but it was mostly clothes for the girls. And I got the one tennis court skirt for myself and then gardening. So um, that's why I came up to $102.99 because the dresses were $19.99 for the four of them. It was like a two pack, so the two packs were $19.99 each. So that is what I got from Costco. And my pot roast just went off. I just took it out, it's cooling. Let's take a look at it and see how it looks. Let's take a look, I love this pot. I think I'm gonna make some green beans with this. Grill lid. Oh, yes. <sighs> smells so good, y'all. Yep, completely done. Yummy nice and thick this will thicken up i'm gonna let this sit here for a little bit and it will thicken up because we're not gonna eat just yet we'll probably eat in about an hour an hour and a half so i'm just gonna let this sit here i'm thawing my green beans out and this is gonna be our dinner all right so let's talk about these food costs continually rising and i only see them rising more and more actually and it's to the point where it, you're really starting to feel it and see it in your budget i know i am personally and i know probably most of you all are as well and i've been polling you guys on my community tab asking different questions about you know what you're doing to try to combat these uh food prices and most of you said almost 50 percent of you guys said that and this is almost 4,000 of you guys voting said that your shopping sales your stock filing certain items and you're eating at home more to combat these rising food costs everything from milk and eggs to coffee to chips it's just crazy and the thing is and I was reading an article about how in the past year in the past 12 months there have been 18 food processing plants that have burned down in the United States 18 some of them days within each other very very odd listen you can go into a lot of a lot of conspiracy theories about that and how another food shortage a real food shortage is coming but really what's really going to hit is is our pockets are really going to be hit by that because it's going to cost way more for your normal things like i said coffee and chips so what i'm personally doing is i'm trying to shop sales for me costco is always 
the best is most of the time the best deal for me and my family especially when it comes to meats and i'll be doing a video sh soon sharing the things that i always get from costco pretty much every single month because it's cost efficient for me in the area that i live in of course where you live matters but what i've been doing lately now is shopping the sales so i'll use an app called flip and I will look at the flyers for all my local grocery stores, Kroger, Publix, Ingles. What else? I now have a little, <laughs> which is cool. I never had one of those before I went there for the first time. You'll be seeing a video about that soon. Aldi. But at the end of the day, it's like I cannot spend my week going to like six different stores because the sales turn over at a different day. And it's just too much because my time is valuable. Time is money for me. And so I like you have to weigh it out you know sometimes it'll be worth it for you to go to six different stores other times to save 50 cents it's not going to be worth it but if it's like a bogo or something like that i'm definitely going to go to that store to get it and i try to like see what's on sale for meats um non-perishables that i'm going to be stockpiling but just looking to to figure out what days do your stores turn over when the sales you know are new um, for me, I think Kroger and Ingles is the same day, but like Publix is a different day. So I pay attention to that. I know Wednesdays is all these, Tuesdays is Kroger and, and Ingles, and I can't remember what Publix is, because for Publix, it's incredibly expensive. So I will only do a BOGO at Publix. But that's pretty much what I've been doing to combat these prices, to just shop the sales, because at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, girl, we gotta eat. You know, not all of us can cook from scratch all the time or homestead. It's just not realistic for a lot of us, and me including. So I just try to do what I can. Um, but leave a comment down below and let me know what are you doing with your family to combat these prices. Five minutes later. Oh y'all, this turned out absolutely delicious. It looks delicious. I taste it a little bit. I love the way this pan cooked nice and evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner with my family now. We were outside <laughs> playing. I took the girls on a walk. We walked for like a mile and took them to a little playground in our neighborhood. So we're all pooped. But thank you guys so much for rocking with me today. Thank you again to Meeson for uh, sponsoring today's video. If you haven't hit that like button, give me a like girl, join my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.